Welcome back viewers. Today we let's look into Tower of Hanoi problem. So hope you remember this Tower of Hanoi problem. Um, it is a type of regression. So we use the recursive algorithm for solving this Tower of Hanoi problem. So basically getting into what it is or like how this time complexity or number of input, how does it imp um, influence in this problem. We will quickly look into what is this Tower of Hanoi problem. So in this problem, we will be having three stands or sticks or pegs of whatever representation. We have three discs or n number of discs available. So all the content of this disc, that is the low, um, the uh, one with a larger um, diameter is placed at the bottom and one of the smaller diameter is placed on the top. So we have to move everything to the neighboring stand. So here what happens is when we move um, the one with the larger diameter has to be placed at the bottom and one with the lower diameter, the smaller diameter has to be obviously placed on the top. So reverse is not um, acceptable that it is uh, not satisfying the constraint. So we have to follow that as the rule for moving the disc which are present here to the neighboring stand. So let us look into this is the problem. So here what we are I'm going to demonstrate today is in this I'm going to take three pegs which is going to be three stands and three discs which are available and the number of moves which has been calculated the minimum number of moves which is going to take place is going to be seven. Let me show you. So this is how it is. So for you to visualize it much more clearly, let me show it. So the one with the smaller diameter will be placed on top. Now placing this. So here we have seen that the constraint this means satisfy and you find that the one with a larger diameter is being always placed at the bottom and one with a smaller diameter on top. For three discs and three pegs, we have seven moves. So supposing if there are going to be five, so it has been calculated that there are going to be 31 moves. We'll just quickly look into it. Okay, so the time taken for play, uh, moving five discs with the same number of pegs, that sticks which are available is going to be 31. Whereas in the case of three discs, it was just seven. So now if there are going to be um, five pegs or stands altogether, so the area is being widespread. So getting the solution also, it's of limited number of moves. That is, we have only 11 moves. Okay. So now when we just look into it, our normal problem is always focused with three stands or three pegs. And we will just look into, we have already seen with three, it was seven. And with five, it was 31. And now we will just look into with nine disc so when when it is going to be nine disc look at the number of moves which are taking place it is 511 so as the size increases the number of disc increases the duration the time duration for transferring from one uh, stand to another also increases so the number of moves also increase so this is the place where we have the we have the probability factor or like where we will be calculating the time complexity so depending on the number of inputs the number of moves will also get influenced and that will also differ drastically 
So this is the reason why we normally calculate the time complexity. So based on the number of moves, depending on which computational device you use, the speed and everything, we will be able to estimate the execution time. So this is why we normally estimate the time complexity by having the basic operation that is how many times the basic operation is being repeated in order to get the solution so based on the solution got how many moves or how many steps have taken place we know this is the duration so that from this particular demonstration of tower of hanoi hope you have understood that depending on the number of inputs whether it is going to be three disk or it is going to be five disk or it is going to be nine or 90 or 900 or 999 or uh, it is going to be infinity the number of moves are also going to differ so based on that uh, we will be able to estimate our time duration the time complexity so this is about the tower of hanoi problem we use the recursive method regression method or the formula the algorithm which is going to be repeated again and again for solving the problem hope you have understood the problem and the time complexity any doubt please do inquire thank you happy learning have a great day